Well, good evening, mortals. I am the devil, Beelzebub, the dark purveyor of darkness. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's Jay about the Robin Eight here. I am Satan. Because, as the dark prince of darkness, sometimes I have to embellish punishment on those things that I hate or dislike at this point. In this case, we're going to get to animes. Welcome to the top 10 animes I, J5, dislike. Now, some of these you guys like, some of you all hate. But remember, this is my list. Number 10 is Bobo Bobo Bo. It's not even funny to me. I don't know why, why this show was invented. It's the same creators of One Piece, or Raid Master is very similar. And it's about the hair army making people bald. That's the dumbest plot for an anime I've ever heard. And plus, it, it, it slaps. I mean, it's, it's some of that dirty humor. I don't like it sometimes. And the plot sometimes is just loony and zany. I know animation can be is fictional. But for this point, it, I just don't like it. I mean, Bobo, I can't act as him as a character. I don't like him as a character. Being a show off, I mean that's that's not always good for me. So that's why I don't like Bobo. Number nine, Love Hina. So I have to explain why I don't like this. It's because the manga is better than the anime. About romances everywhere. It's a romance anime of Love Hina. You know everyone's breakups, makeups, all that stuff. I don't like it because I mean the manga is better than the anime. I know it's kind of a common norm for an anime. But when Love Hina, the anime, is is worse than the manga, you might have problems. I didn't like the characters. They were kind of some of them. The main character was mean spirited. I didn't like the the whole zany love hate back and forth that was going on. And I, after the first ten episodes, I I gave up. You know, I thought it would get better, but no. This is just my opinion. I didn't like it. Number eight is Dragon Ball GT. Please! So I have to explain why I hate this. It's stupid. It's the worst of Dragon Ball. I know Kira Toriyama made it that's kind of canon, but it's it, it was dumb. I mean, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball are better than this. You know, trying to connect Goku to the future. I mean, when he began Super Saiyan 4, it was the only cool thing about it, and his fight, at least between Baby... Everything else was just stupid. I mean, why did they have to make Goku become a kid again with the dark red Dragon Balls? I mean, he was already a kid in Dragon Ball. Why are you recycling Dragon Ball? That's what it is. It's like fusing Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball into one series. And that doesn't work. I haven't read the manga of GT, and I heard it's okay. But, you know, by hearing that, it makes me not want to watch the anime anymore. Number seven is K-On. All I gotta say is not enough music. I guess you could say it's just too much of the moe, too much cuteness. I know, I know the cuteness is part of anime, but when there's not enough music performance in a, in a show about girls in a rock band, you probably lost all respect for your anime. I, I I've seen some of the episodes. I, I don't like it because it's too cute. There's a point, there's a limit where I can handle the much cuteness. Some sooner or later, I'm gonna have to change the shojin, shonen, not shojo, shonen anime. And this this let me down. I mean, not part of the animation, which is very nice. The stories are inconsistent. Number six, Avril Samurai. Now, for those of you, I'm gonna give you a little bit of I mean, a little bit of what I think. Obviously, you know it's my top ten anyway. Avril Samurai took the video game and made an anime, but I think it tried too hard to be like Lonely Kenshin or Samurai 7. I remember seeing the first five episodes of this, and, you know, it's kind of cool to hear Samuel Jackson's voice in anime, but when this series is basically a combination of the Boondocks mixed with Lonely Kenshin or Samurai 7, that's not the best formula. The story was generic. You know, the whole revenge is another revenge to revenge story. I know Samurai Jack, I and mean, Cartoon Eric did better that with Samurai Jack. And at least Samurai 7 and Kenshin did a better job of that story done. Even Samurai Shampoo did a better job. Hell, this is more of a copy of Samurai Shampoo as much as it is Kenshin. It's just a ripoff. A spinoff that didn't need to be made. A, sp a ripoff of another good anime that doesn't need to be made. Number five is Pretty Cure. You know why I don't like this? 
It's for girls. That's it. Number four, I can. I can describe them. I cannot describe the words. You know, the words that I can describe with for the anime knows. I can. And for those of you who are wondering what I can is, I can describe you in a few words. It's a fan service anime. It's about Densuke Misfune, who's forced into the Icon Club for fan service. And you thought Fairy Tale had fan service problems? Man, you haven't seen nothing yet with this anime. This is about a guy named Densuke, Densuke Shamano, who has been let into the Icon Club to be a pimp. Yeah, a 15 year old guy going into a place with hot women who are mostly naked at the time and want to grab his dick. Everywhere is not the anime I want to see. Too much sex in the series. I've only seen three episodes, and that's as much as I can handle. Because I've heard it gets more raunchy from there. And that's why I don't like it. I mean, fan service can be appealing to an anime. It can mostly sometimes a selling point. But, I mean, too much is too much. I mean, at least space it about. Then I could at least say, oh, it's okay, it's good enough. But no, I didn't like it. Number three is Beyblade. It ripped off Yu-Gi-Oh! with summoning monsters with tops. And then, that's all I gotta say. It ripped off Yu-Gi-Oh! Then you have Duelist Card Master Bar Buddy, Card Buddies. I'm not gonna go into that anime because that's dumb. Beyblade was just another one to capture on the, on the dual monster craze that Yu-Gi-Oh! had. Except without cards, it's tops. And whoever's top gets hit first, Wins. Whoever beats the other top over wins. And that's just, it got boring. And this was an anime that was on Cartoon Network. And wow, the voice acting was dumb. It was uninventive. It was boring. The characters were bland. It, it felt like another, it felt like a Yu-Gi-Oh! ripoff to me. I don't like it when new ideas are redone again. But they changed it up a bit. I tend to have more better special ideas with the Beyblades themselves. The blade uh, tops, then that would be interesting. But for that one, no. Number two, Boku no Pico. Do I need to repeat myself to what to agree with what Black Critic Guy said? We talk about an anime that I have been requested to watch numerous upon numerous times and flat out refuse to watch it. It's basically an attraction to young boys from an adult individual. Why the fuck would I want to watch something like that? Black Critic Guy, if you're watching this, dude, I'm glad you haven't watched this. I've taken the pain for you. This anime, or OVA, whichever movie it is, is about a young kid going to meet a 20, 30-something-year-old to be his play date. Think of anime version of Broke Bad Mountain, but just wrong. He just doesn't want, like, a girl. There's one where he eats ice cream off his chest. It's just dirty. And I can't even continue to tell you what, un what sexually disgusting things that go on in there. I mean, it's rancid. It's raunchy. Hell, Norbit is less sexually deserving. That's a comedy with a fat chick and a man and everybody in a fat chick suit with all that with those chubby cheeks. Ugh. Ugh. Well anyway we got to the number one. You're surprised of this. You might be surprised why. Sailor Moon. Now before you all go after me saying, oh you don't like the series because you never watch it. <laughs> Wrong. I did see the series. It was a mistake of me watching it. I was born, people. This brought ideas from other anime. You know, with the Senten team of Power Rangers, but, you know, with all girl power, you know, all that stuff. I didn't like it. But I'll tell you this. I'm watching the new Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal, which I am getting into. And I'd say it's good. Because this one's based on the manga. The original wasn't that much based on the manga because of the animation wasn't as top notch it is now. I don't like it because it's a girl's anime. I just don't like it. And that's why it's my number one anime I dislike. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out the videos I have posted every day on the J5 channel. And tell me, what are your top 10 hated animes you dislike? Could they be ones you watched as a kid? Could they be ones you saw as an adult? Or they ones that you hear all the time and say, God, I just want this out of my head, God damn it. 
But anyway, this is J535 signing off. Go ahead and join my top 10 anime to dislike. And, you know, this is J535 signing off, and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.